In this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit your audio right inside Adobe Captivate. You know, I'm so used to having Audition and, uh, of course, all the other apps in the Creative Cloud that I sometimes forget some of the features that are built right into Adobe Captivate. It is really a robust tool. Today, we're going to take a look at how you can edit your audio recording, specifically for slide audio, uh, right inside Adobe Captivate. No need to have another piece of software. Let's take a look. Okay, so I've just recorded some audio for this slide here, and I want to show you some of the features that were available for editing your audio. And this is going to be important if you use a microphone and are recording audio on your own rather than using something like text-to-speech or hiring a professional voice talent to record the audio for you here. So first off, uh, I look at this audio here and actually let me hit cancel first of all and show you how you get to this. So once I've recorded my audio on the slide, you can see that narration one dot wave is down here. And of course I can right click on that and press edit. And that's going to bring me into the edit mode here. Now before I do anything, I want to show you the three dot icon here, also known as ellipses icon. You can do several things. So you can add system audio, you can add which microphone you wish to record from, and you can choose audio input calibration for that microphone. And finally, volume settings here. So when I recorded this, I used my webcam microphone, which is a little bit further away than my regular microphone. So I'm gonna go into volume settings. And actually what I like to do is just choose normalize and press save. And I think what you'll see is the audio will suddenly jump up in volume and it's gonna be much more appropriate here. So let's go ahead and listen to this first of all. <clears throat> let's look at some of the most useful aspects of our code through a fun journey of the city of integrity you'll be visiting parts of the city to learn our code answer the questions and win credentials click enter <coughs> click enter to begin the journey okay so i need to do some work here obviously I'm going to start off by exporting this to my desktop just so I have the original copy there. And uh, right off the bat, you know, I kind of sniffed my nose a little bit here at the beginning here. So I can do one of several things. Of course, I've got all of these editing controls up here and let's just go through them real quickly here. So I'm going to select where you could hear me sniffing my nose a little bit here. So I could cut this out. I could copy this if I needed to paste it somewhere else and I could delete it. That's certainly an option. If I want to keep the same time duration, like if I wanted a big long gap like this, rather than deleting it, I could insert silence. So that would look something like this and those two little sniffs would be gone. But the reality is I don't need the extra space at the front here. So probably the best thing to do is, is cut or delete. Cut would allow me to paste that elsewhere. Delete is more permanent, so we'll just go ahead and press delete here. Let's play it again. Let's look at some of the most useful aspects of our code through a fun journey of the city of integrity. You'll be visiting parts of the city to learn our code, answer the questions, and win credentials. Click enter. <coughs> Okay, so there's another spot that, that I need to take care of here. So I'm just gonna highlight this here and we can just delete that portion there. And now we got the remaining instruction there. Click enter to begin the journey. Okay, and I probably don't need all this extra audio, blank audio at the, the end here. So we can do the same thing again. We can select that and we can just throw that in the trash there. Now, one of the things that I noticed is that I should have really had the code of conduct, why do we need it written out or narrated out at the beginning there. So you can actually do that. Let's do it right here at the beginning here. And I'm gonna press recording. Code of conduct, why do we need it? 
Same problem as before. We've got really quiet stuff here. So we could actually go into the ellipses icon here and go into volume settings here and normalize that. And of course that comes up there. We might need to just do a little bit of small editing here. Code of conduct. Why do we need it? You know, and we can do small little edits here, like maybe reduce some of that spacing in there. And we'll just get rid of the stuff at the beginning here. And I think we're pretty good. Code of conduct. Why do we need it? Let's look at some of the most. So there's a good example of how you can use the built-in editing capabilities. You're not restricted to just simply cutting and deleting. You can actually insert new recordings and just pop them right at the beginning here. You can copy, you can paste, you can cut, you can delete, all that good stuff. And of course, you have the ability to import and export right from these controls here. So I'm going to go ahead and press save, and that's now saved to my timeline. And of course, I can continue to edit the rest of my e-learning course. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.